meet the new baby. <laughs> She's so out of it. Let's get into the update. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Tao and welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you're new. So it's been two weeks since I've had my baby. A lot has happened, like seriously, a lot. Yeah, today's video is going to be all about the two-week postpartum update. I'm going to be talking about the surgery, body changes, changes at home, like all of that good stuff. Please, let's keep watching. Body changes. This is obviously the big one. A lot of body changes. Weight. Let's talk about weight. You know, when you have a baby, you think you'd lose a lot of weight. Yeah, I did not lose a lot of weight. Throughout my pregnancy, I gained 40 pounds after birth i was about 150 just less than 150 pounds which I, I, I didn't lose a lot of weight i lost really just a little bit over 10 pounds and seven of those pounds belonged to the baby second week i am around 143 pounds i am definitely making progress i do want to get back to my pre-pregnancy weight let's see how that's gonna go for the belly, if you saw my delivery story in my last video, you would have seen a little clip of my belly literally right after I had surgery while I was still at the hospital. And I felt like, and I looked like, I was still like seven months pregnant. <sighs> has gone down quite a bit in the last two weeks i'm doing a lot of different things to kind of help that and i'll share that in my next video which is all about my postpartum recovery plan i do have like a pooch like a pouch do they say pouch pooch pooch pouch it's a hell little pouch that you normally get after you give birth when you have a c-section that's gonna eventually hopefully you know look less noticeable i'm gonna work on that once i'm given the go ahead to kind of exercise and kind of get back in shape like that's what it is i got a little kangaroo pouch some clips of my belly and the progress in the last two weeks i still have a lot of postpartum bleeding it's not too bad i'm not in those big maxi pads i don't have that level of postpartum bleeding anymore but it's definitely gone down drastically in terms of the c-section and the surgery even though the surgery went well and stuff there is an aftermath that was really tough on me i had serious back pain i never had back pain with my past c-sections but this one i had back pain I had it pretty much lower back my mid back just my back back it was just kind of like all over it was painful i was taking Tylenol more for the back pain in my second week than really for the incision i was a little bit worried because one of the side effects of the spinal tap when they do the c-section would be back pain and i remember at like two o'clock in the morning i was like googling and like why i have back pain it's a common side effect of the spinal tap i remember reading somewhere it could last from weeks to years so we'll see how that goes like if it's gonna last years it's gonna be a problem it's not so bad some days but i think it depends what i'm doing especially when i'm taking the baby in and out of the bassinet and bending over a lot that's when i really feel the back pain <laughs> like yeah that's 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 back pain. It didn't help that I already had two kids at home, moving around a lot more. And also like, I'm just not resting as much, right? Cause you know, I am a mother of three now. Like what is rest? In terms of the incision, I have a very visible scar. It's fully healed by now. I have started to put bio oil on the incision just to kind of help with the appearance around the incision so like your stomach and stuff you do feel a little bit of numbness and i do feel a little bit of sharp pains like here and there i'm massaging around the incision a lot more in terms of diet i did mention in previous pregnancy update videos that once i give birth my diet is gonna change and baby it has changed <sighs> which i'm really sad to say i am doing this thing called sitting the month which I'll explain more in my next video. I'm just doing like an Asian cultural diet. I've cut down a lot on my sweets and my junk food and I'm just eating more plain foods, nothing too exciting. That is what I was really eating for the first, you know, week, week and a half. Literally just rice, meat, vegetables is my breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That's pretty much all I ate. A week and a half in, I started to kind of start incorporating a little treats here and there because, you know, you know, you know, you know, because I can't control myself. 
I am drinking a lot of lot of water, which is going to go into my next topic, which is breastfeeding. Breastfeeding has been very successful for us. Every time I breastfeed, I just get extra thirsty. I am drinking a lot of water because of that. Baby latched on right away at the hospital and she's got a mean suckle. I did bring a breast pump at the hospital. So I did pump a little bit to help me bring in my milk. And then when it came in, baby, it came in. Milk is in and there's a lot of milk. I'm just I've stopped pumping. It's just based on baby's demands. I do have quite a bit of milk. I do find that I have to lean back a lot so that she's not like chugging my milk or pump excess milk because it's just too much milk for her. So that's another story. It takes time for the body to kind of meet with supply and demand. So I think it's slowly starting to work itself out. She eats a lot at nighttime, which is not what I prefer. She's thirsty. Sleeping at night. What is sleeping at night? Currently, we are co-sleeping. First couple nights, <laughs> I had her in the bassinet. It was just really hard to kind of get up and bend over. And then I had that back pain. It was just too much. I would just put her in the bed with us. It was a lot easier for me to kind of get her and not worry about anything else. When my back starts to get better, I will be putting her back in the bassinet. I would like to have the whole bed to myself, really. For me, sleeping, I'm really sleeping in one position, which is only on my back, just to kind of help me with my recovery. I've been sleeping on my side for like the last like seven months. I really don't want to sleep on my side anymore. I feel like it kind of helps with my stomach going down because, you know, gravity, you know, gravity with my belly. I don't know, does that, am I just making stuff up here because that could be in my head. For the kids, they have adjusted so well. Like, I am so impressed with my kids and how they deal with change. They are so happy to have her around. Nobody's regress. None of that sibling jealousy, which I really appreciate and I'm really loving. And I'm so thankful that I don't have to deal with all that extra stuff. My daughter is obsessed with her. She just cannot stay away from her. My son, he shows a lot of love to her and you know i get jealous because i would like some love too from him and right now the way that we have it planned at home is i pretty much just take care of the baby all the time my husband will take care of the two kids all the time it's worked for us there's really no complaints other than my husband is really tired but who cares and I must have to share that Thursday, Friday of our first week with the baby, my daughter's school called us and told us that she needed to stay at home because there's been a confirmed case of COVID in her classroom. It made me kind of go into panic mode because I have a newborn who wasn't even a week yet and I had to pull my son out of daycare. That's been a really crazy week and a half. It just really hit home for us that somebody this close to us has a confirmed case of COVID. A few days ago, we got tested, the whole family. We just got a new baby. Thank goodness none of us have it. We're now they're just, yeah, now it's just, yeah, it is what it is, right? That's my two week postpartum update. Stay tuned for my next video. It's all about my recovery plan and things that I've been doing specifically just to kind of bounce my body back to where it was before. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe for more. Thank you very much. Good night. I love you. Bye-bye.